secondary hard true. breach as well. Secondary hard breach. You got so many things these days, right? It's a great thing for the game. And the thing is, if you ban the Kaid, you don't have to. Then it's like you don't have to worry about that. Sure frost all. on the board. In comes fish. They see it. More candelas to go. Explosion goes off. OXG very quick to the pace. Spiker, the first one to die, coming at the hands of Fox A as Dream is in, getting the diffuser down. But look at that. Kansan searching for kills, only able to find one so far. He's the last man standing. This was Jesse's MVP of week number one. Can he live up to the bill? in the office. Fish the first altercation down below now, coming to verbal blows with Vertical and now Slothy as well, taking some damage in the process. Spiker, who wasn't even involved in this altercation, is the first to die. Mirage is being combined Mirage back. Mirage great read. They sacrificed Geisha early in that round and just pushed back towards the bomb side. And look at this. The roam from Rampy is still active and it punishes OXG immediately. You might be able to retake Geisha as well. That part of the map relinquished by Mirage, but... It's a former world champion. Rampy's got the good read. Long range engagement. Yaga goes down, likely to a frost mat. It's fish in a 1v4 as Rampy takes down Fox A. That Geisha read again being so good. Fish is doomed in this position. He doesn't have a lot of intel. Drone work going out. Rampy sees the Yana of Newers, gets the pick. No obscurement that could possibly happen. 4 OXG. They spy one body. Nice shot by Vertical on the fish. He had another as well over by Dragon, but it's Yaga to get on the board with two picks. Sloth and Rampy lining up perfectly. Vertical falling back as Spiker gets on the board. Yaga's no more. That was the one player from OXG who really seemed to have things in his grasp. Down goes Spiker. It's all Vertical in a 1v2 against his former teammates. Time running out, but Dream is on that diffuser. Fox A needs to cover. Vertical sees him. Stop it, oh! Vertical pulls it off as they both drop. The All he needs to do is secure the kill, and there you go. Your victory lap is at hand. Diffuser goes down, and Vertical gets both those picks. Raj, <laughs> grab their second round in a row. Sure, he knows now. Bambi has a good game since he has the sound as well. Yep, he figures it. <laughs> no way! The shot that thing's off. a pillow gun, but boy, oh boy, does it do a lot of damage. Now it's Yaga to try and... No, oh, mm. Avenger's teammate, he does so. Through the wall, goodbye, Rampy. 2v2. 15 seconds to go. The pace of these rounds has been frantic right now. OXG, for more often than not, they've been holding on for dear life. No access to the diffuser, so kill will be the answer. Down Five goes Newers. Go. Now it's Yaga to try to find Kanzen, but the keep away game will go. seconds remaining. Goodness gracious. OXG oh, really need to hasten this pace up, and there goes Newers making tons of noise. Kanzen ready for it. Easy pick. Fish on the board as well. Kanzen pivoting, getting two, but Dream walks in the same angle that he was looking before. Spiker in a 1v2 post plant. He Randy takes the relative impunity in this spot. Still focus along as he's not really receiving a lot of pressure. He knows one player's down by back stairs. A nice mm. shot to swiftly remove that of Newers. Hard reach for the wall. The rest of this OXG team trickling in. Down goes Yaga. He'd been finished off. Now it's Kansan's turn to die. Okay, OXG getting their licks in. Only two members remain, but Vertical was so good last time, and it looks like it might be starting all over. A flash goes in, misplayed by Slothy. You don't like to see that at all, and now Vertical will have to clutch. They have to see Mirage cross that line and get that entry, and this right here is their attempt at that. Yeah, these are very, very slow rounds in terms of action. Nice shot by Slothy to take down Dream. It was a team effort to remove one of the players from OXG, so I guess we won't see the full power of those Maestro cameras in action. Newers has the cross, though, takes out Slothy before Spiker trades him right back. Fox A patrolling back stairs will need to be compelled into action in order to stop this Mirage plant, which is at the halfway point. Fox A's position is given away. He and Fish now down below. Fish finished off as the diffuser is successful and the clock will continue to run. The attack for OXG showing some weakness. Very first defense doing the exact same. Even if Fox A is able to take out Kansan, there's still so much more work to be done and he has to emerge from a very, very vulnerable spot on the dragon. 
You see them, they're so bunkered up. They're just in two rooms right here. That's all they need. Uh, they're ready for it. And Fox A playing by the bar takes one down. OXG absolutely collapsing on these Mirage players. Spiker in a 1v5. Everybody on OXG, not just at full HP, but Dream and Fox A actually overhealed. There's more <laughs> HP on OXG right now than when they started the round. Mirage, <laughs> though, no closer whatsoever to a round victory. OXG had burned their time out in the previous round. Whether we're just looking at another defended defender sided skyscraper or not, they seem very comfortable with this position. And now the clock will run on Spiker, denying just a flaw, flying by. Slow in terms of action, but quick in terms of pacing, because we're already at the final 30 seconds. Mirage have been sitting on an opportunity to go to match point, but haven't been able to capitalize as much as they want, and especially with Yaga taking down another player from Mirage. It's going to be tough. There goes Fox A, but. Refrag from OXG. They continue to hold this advantage, and then the numbers get go from good to great. Dream. Now it looks like Mirage is suffering through them so far through all the games that we've seen. Kanzen, by the way, he had the diffuser. He decides to go through delivery and gets smoked immediately, opening up the wall. Dream gets taken down by Vertical. Not all is bad. Vert also has a read on the smoke of Yaga, who's playing by the stairs. Bigger problem is you ought to get that diffuser. Rambi is tasked with doing so, Attack but kills some time in the process. He might have an opportunity to get in the kitchen unchallenged if that's where he wants to go, but instead, just sprints in. How did they allow him to go like that, Nick? He just, nobody watching him that's so what? puzzling by OXG. You've been doing so much better, but now it's Mirage in the driver's seat. Vertical finding all three kills, positioned the wrong way. Four for him. Only one more eludes Vertical, again against his saying? former team. Ooh. Time just continuing to go towards OXG's favor, and OXG gets on the kills first, with Yaga and Fox A dropping two players from Mirage. Dream firing away, but it's Yaga credited with the kills. Mirage now trickle in. Spiker in a 1v5. This is a familiar situation. Denies the Nitro Cell from going off, but there's just too many targets. That went on earlier today, casted by Lynx and Stoke. Maybe it's just luck of the draw. Mirage Ooh. started things off by removing Yaga from Drum, removing his head from his body, and then the player from the server, <laughs> as they're just going for broke, and now it's Slothy's turn to get on the board. Down goes Newers. OXG will feel the, the bomb heat. site, but it's the anti-flank that you might struggle with. Oh, Rampy sees him, oh. but misses out! That is not ideal, but at least you've got Fish's attention as he scampers off. Foxy all the while on the bomb site, removing cans, and down goes Dream. Foxy oh, looking for the drop. Both players from OXG underneath the bomb site of Karaoke and T. But guess what? Fish has intel. He can use it. Plant going off. Fish up the stairs. Two different players looking in that direction. Slothy with three big kills. Foxy to save his team.